Hello, my name is Emma Isu and I welcome you to another episode of African Brands on Silverbed Television. The Nigerian real estate market in the last few years has rapidly expanded and is recording exponential growth, steadily increasing foreign direct investment, fast urbanization and strong corporate demand. Mr. Eddie Otomewo, Chief Executive Officer, Property Radar Limited, shares with us how the real estate has added tremendous value to the Nigerian economy. A quick view of our luxurious landscape. Imagine what it will feel like to live in one of the most serene environments in the heart of Agungi. Tastefully built with the best of materials and supervised by the best civil engineers, our homes in Aja will give you value for money. Now the correct apartment with the rain now, no miss them at all. There was a kingdom of people with skin so clear. But some would try to find out what they know. Well, what do you see? I'm about to find out. The king and queen wait for the treasure that is concealed, so the secret to great skincare can be revealed. What's going on, my king? My king, we found her spying on the ceremony. Enjoy the treasured secrets from VSP Botanics. Hello? VSP Hello? Botanics, making bold statements with your skin. Mr. Eddie Otomewo, Chief Executive Officer, Property Radar Limited. Well, Property Radar um, uh, was founded on the backdrop of trying to create uh, luxury, to make luxury affordable to the middle class people. You know, uh, here to you have uh, luxury uh, being provided for the high class people and all that. So we decided that let's try and change the game. Let's make luxury affordable to the, the middle class and the low income earners. So all our projects, the finishings are unique and are universal. So people who can afford the 30 million, 40 million house can have almost same type of finishing with the house that's about 300 million. You know, so that's what uh, is unique about us. And our designs also are very unique. We don't repeat designs. We try for each project to bring out designs that you know speaks volume to the creativity of you know the, the the brand itself and then it helps in actually giving people a sense of uniqueness when it comes to owning the property so we have um we have different ranges of properties we have apartments we have uh, terraces we have uh, semi-detached we have fully detached houses uh for us we've been able to tag uh, 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 brand names you know we branded each each project type you know like our terraces are called brown view residence uh, so we have currently we have Brownview Residence um, uh, Four going on somewhere in Ologolo here. We also have Brownview Residence Five kicking off, you know, also in Ologolo here. We have the semi-detached are called Lofty Brums. So we've done a lot of Lofty Brums, you know. So but currently we have Lofty Brums Six, Seven, Eight, and Nine, you know, under construction as we speak. Uh, the sixth is almost done. It's about ninety percent. Then we also have the Brom Heights. The Brom Heights is what you can see behind me. It's the apartments. You know, we have uh, uh, Brom Heights 1, Brom Heights 2. Uh, the, the Brom Heights 1 is in Aja. Uh, we've sold about 60% of that one. Then we'll have the one in Agungi, which is Brom Heights 2. So those are two bedrooms and three bedrooms apartments that have been selling uh, with as low as 35 million Naira you own one of them and we have as high as currently as high as 200 million for the detached house uh, which we, we tagged Brom 
uh, uh, brown vetters. So those ones, you know, that are high luxury, fully detached with big compound, big space, luxury finishing and all that. So these are the products that we have currently in the market. Well, the real estate industry, I would say that is it's doing well, not as much as we should. Uh, but currently, I think we're doing well. And, and the things that most developers are doing is it's 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 quite encouraging because if you check the landscape and of lagos currently it's it's been transformed by what developers are doing and sometimes we do things without the help of governments you know in terms of trying to create infrastructure and 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 uh, infrastructure, infrastructure provide our own water our own electricity our own road in most cases so we're, we're doing well we're not there yet but I think that where where it is it's, it's, it's catching up. The major challenge in Nigeria is, is access to funds, you know, especially if you're a business owner, you want to do business. A lot of times you use our money to do business, or if you're lucky enough, you have an angel investors who comes and gives you money, you know, or you know, something like that. So we the, the major challenge we have is assessing funds, you know, for genuine people like us who want to do business and do it uh, big time. You know can assess the kind of money you want to assess so you have to just make do what you have and then the other challenge are infrastructure you know the infrastructure is terrible you're building and you have to go through the pain of doing the road like i have a project i'm doing currently i'm buying a transformer for the for the area i did the road i'm providing water for them so i'm sort of like their government you know so we don't have and and, and then on top of that we're paying Levies to the government, the governmental charges, you know, building plant permits and local governments, and you know, they come and then you pay all this money, but you don't get the government doing anything that benefits you, you know, and 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 then you're left stranded, you know, on your own. So I think that if the government would try and take care of infrastructure, you know, in areas, you know, they know that is because there should be proper planning. This is the area where there's developments, so they should put in their plan to create infrastructure, do the road. You know, do the road properly and then at least that will minimize the expenses that we're going to take you know and sometimes the roads when the developers do it is not as standard as governments you know so you, you, you are sure that there's standard this that meets the demand you know of commuters in that area a quick view of our luxurious landscape Imagine what it will feel like to live in one of the most serene environments in the heart of Agungi. Tastefully built with the best of materials and supervised by the best civil engineers, our homes in Aja will give you value for money. Now the correct apartment with the rain now, no miss them at all. Reba Perfecto Limited was established in 2012 by Tunde Angwenga Adigo. Reba Perfecto Limited is a company with all-round industry experience. Our services include sales and supply of sharp sand, land reclamation, canalization, coastal defense, construction, logistics, and general dredging. Our office is located at Temidere Street, Isashi Ibeshe, Ikorodu, Lagos. Contact us on the details displayed on the screen. Benga Adigun, Executive Director, Finance and Logistics. Reba Perfecta Limited. Reba Perfecta Limited was conceptualized back in 2012 and then we started out to be a steel recycling um, business. That was what, you know, the original concept. Because the word Reba, you know, Reba is just, I mean, when you put, you know, iron bars together as a reinforcement for concrete, that's what holds um, concrete together. So originally we started out to just face steel, you know, get steel scrap metal to recycling and convert those um, scrap into rebars or iron bars that they use for construction. And however, that plan 
we started, we filled very quickly because of course you and I don't the problem with power. We were using a, a, a power of, um, electricity fire or electricity powered furnace and because of you know, the electricity issues and um, it was not a sustainable business so we really shut it down. However we kept the name River Perfecta when we branched out into the sand dredging business. In, um, we saw that the name still applies. So we parade ourselves as construction support finance. We help when we're construction directly, but of course we, we help big name construction firms, you know the names, and we give them sharp sand and other and building materials. So if you look at the world in itself, Uber Perfecta put together is just a metaphor for completeness, it's a metaphor for perfection, it's a metaphor for you know that missing ingredient in your everything construction. I just trying to say if you have us, you know, everything will be fine with your construction projects, the speed, the quality, the delivery and everything. So it's just a metaphor for you are the guys you need to, to do your construction project and get to be Our mission, which is the immediate um, stuff we set up to do, is to you know be that construction support firm that actually delivers speed delivery and speed of delivery speed of execution and reliability because our industry a long time before now has been left to be informal is more or less an informal sector not you know nicely captured in in, in, in probably you know maybe the gp what the economy is producing because it's individuals who come you know set up things like this have one or two logistics attached to it it's not formally captured so what we are trying to do is to make it very very structured make it very formal make it very reliable so the main vision is to be that reliable construction support firm the main mission well our vision the grand vision is anything that comes up now or in the future construction support we want to be top of mind so our vision is to be the top of mind construction support firm anywhere in nigeria when projects are coming up, infrastructure projects, real estate projects, the top of mind firm should be given perfect. My name is Odia Victoria. I'm the founder of VS Robotnics. So VS Robotnics kicked off in 2016, started off with small production, yeah. Then we were, the reception was encouraging. I started getting numerous amazing feedbacks. I think that was the point I got to know that, yes, this is it for me. So from then to now, it has been a progressive growth, I must say. For VSU Bootniks, our unique selling points will be high-performing plant-based products. Yes. So what we sell at VSU Bootniks as skincare is um, plant-sourced ingredients, thoughtfully sourced to be as light as air on the skin, soothing and uh, non-irritating to just any skin type so even if you're oily skin you're dry you have a combination skin or perhaps you're having sensitive skin condition there's just one product at vs both next that it's not just compatible with your skin we undo various skin needs you're having blemish on the skin say perhaps you've um, exposed your skin to steroid in the past or maybe overly proportioned active that's i would explain to you so if you've had your skin maybe battered in the past, you've used steroids and now your skin must have gotten thin, which is one thing people who have had maybe ash products, it's one of these things, it's so common now, it's one of the things people experience now. You find out that um, you react to virtually anything, even water, the mildest of products will even break you out. So just talk to us at VSU Botanics, we would help fix that. Thankfully, VSU Botanics has over 30 distributors within and outside the church of Nigeria. So in Ghana, in UAE, in, um, in the US, in the UK, you find the VSU Botanics distributor in those places. And also within Nigeria in different states. I mean, I can't start counting, right? And just of recent, we came into partnership with MedPlus Pharmacy. And the feedback we've been getting from them is <laughs> yeah so we're still looking forward to 
partnership like this with reputable brands. Yes, VS Robotics is. We're working, we're add at work to saying that the product gets to its users with no hassle. The beauty industry has been a dynamic one, really, if I must say. A whole lot of growth has come to the industry and people are swimming with change, really. I mean, product formulators, um, estheticians, um, beauty consultants, they are just moving with the new trend as regards skincare, as regards um, caring or catering to the skin. The beauty industry has grown, if I would say drastically, yes, it has. Because I could remember reading um, some time ago how NSC said the projection at the time was around maybe 800 million USD. But the statistics they are giving today is about 1.2 billion USD. It's a lot of money, if I would say. <laughs> really, it shows that it's one industry that is growing. I'm not sure there are so many industries in this part of the world that is, as, that is as growing as the beauty industry. Yes, it's a progressive one, I'll tell you. Currently, it has to be FX. So we know a lot of Nigerian businesses depend largely on exports. A lot of our raw materials, you have to get them, you have to source them internationally. So, um, foreign exchange has been a thing right now. If you check the current exchange rate, I'm sure you would understand the implication it has on product pricing. So, this has been a big challenge, and then we're hoping that things get better. We're hoping that the APS Bank is able to come up with something, something to help entrepreneurs like myself. If you're looking at a piece of property that the value is sure to appreciate over 500% within the next five years, then I have something for you. Esperanza Val Estate. Esperanza Val Estate at Elamija, Ibejuleki is where you should put your money in. It comes with all the facilities, a modern day estate you have, free Wi-Fi, motorable road, portable water. It has a gym facility among other things. This is something you don't want to miss out on. And you know the extra is at Invejileki, which means you're in the center of all the commercialization that we're talking about. Not far away from the Dangote refinery, Dangote fertilizer, and just five minutes drive from the Lacapine Tropicana, in case you're looking at having a good time. It comes with a registered survey and is selling for just three million naira per plot. Esperanza Val is a project you want to be part of. Call this number to reserve your own plot. Pella Homes. This is Emanuela Awosong, Chief Executive Officer, Pella Homes and Properties Limited. Pella Homes and Properties is a real estate company. We need to property development, estate development property management and consultancy. The vision of Pelahomes and Property is to be number one global brand and our mission is providing affordable assumed units at affordable prices. Our core value we have so many. Trust, customer centered, value driven, professionalism, teamwork. But the most important thing to us is integrity because we know that integrity drives the business world. So, presently, we have um, five um, developing estates. They're all located at Ibejileki. As we all know, that Ibejileki, number one, real estate is the fastest growing investment in Africa. We can double that for such. And Ibejileki is one of the most fastest growing investments. So, right now, we concentrate on Ibejileki. And presently, at we have Taylor at Stangote Refinery. We have Vanilla Estate One. That is a two minutes drive after the campaign Tropicana. We have Vanilla Estate Two. 
two minutes is drive after the seaport before like Ampa Tropicana. We have Golden City there. That is just at the back of Dangote Fertilizer before the seaport. And we have Esperanza Valley. Esperanza Valley is located at the entrance of Ekwe, just before Alaru City. We have Liva. Liva is located at the center of the Bajula Kitty, being in the Bajula People Store. Okay. Um, the lunch is coming up at Radio Sebu on Sunday, 26th at 5 pm. The lunch is on the of Pelas Court on our land investment. Pelas Court is a beautiful, cute estate that we have one room apartment, two bedroom apartment, and duplex. It's going to be um, it's going to be a serviced estate where water, electricity, generator is provided and the security guaranteed. And one of the beautiful things about it is that we have flexible plan for payment. And our price that we're going to unveil with is going to going to be on compared with all. It's, it's, you can't get that price anywhere. That's why I'm going to unveiling with. It's been giving out a very, very good price. And then about the land investment, we find out that different people with different priorities. Some have even gotten land. Some people right now, what they want to focus on is that children education. Some people is their career. Some people want to save for the future. Now, that is one unique thing about land investment banking. Land investment banking, incorporated with our cooperative, Bella Square Cooperative is giving everybody that have money to invest an opportunity to invest and then it's all about investment our investment we start from 50,000 hour upward we have six month plan we have nine month plan we have one year plan our six month plan is 15 percent our nine month plan plan is 24 percent where our one year plan is 35 percent you can invest in any of those plans with a minimum of 50,000 naira. And you can still invest as much as 50 million, 100 million, 200 million, it depends on your capacity. But one thing we are guaranteed, more question that people will ask, why are we investing this money to? We have been in the industry for close to 20 years right now. Beauty Cosmetics Camp Plan started 2019 in July. Um, we really started fully in 2019 in July, and that's when we started. We were we, we back from school, I started it, and um, just passing out. I was not using it for promotional purposes. I had skin challenges, and I'm like, okay, I really need to solve out my own skin challenges, so I started to take it off from then. The um, reason I yeah, is to um, give um, the kind of core values of Pregnancy and honesty and um, teamwork is very, very important for company. They're very honest with clients and um, dignity will make sure they are open, transparent, and also teamwork whereby we feel like we all or all everybody work together better than just one person. So, our products and services, and um, in the products, we have a variety of products containing skin types and uh, skin tones. It's very, very important. We don't just sell products to any other person. We must also recommend your skin type, your skin tone, and also your skin issues. So, that's what our products is more about. Our services is more about massage, um, beauty service, um, facials, pedicure, manicure and other services. Our offers, what is very unique about our offers, we don't just rely on skincare as a whole, that's a skincare product. We also tell our clients, healthy diets, you also have to exercise, as well have to take supplements, which is very important. So skincare is just a brand of, as a whole, but other things are involved, are eating healthy, exercising and taking supplements. So that was more important, so we recommend this, we don't just call our, our skincare products, we recommend to our clients. Number one factor is you pay for you can enjoy the economy when you pay down daily and also the uh, determination, yes, you have to be very, very determined. Then you have to have passion because I see most people just enter into the skincare industry or to by doing it. They don't really have passion for that. You have to have passion for it. Um, then also the patience. 
cuts. It's not going to be so easy. We have to be very, very patient. Thank you for joining us on this episode of African Brands on Silver Bear Television. You can continue the conversation via our YouTube platform at African Brands. To get featured, send in your corporate profile via info at africansbrands.com. I'll be back next week Tuesday, same time, same station. My name is Emma Isu.